this silver and gold stacker gets it. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. And today I wanna to answer some questions from an email that I received from a viewer of mine. And it, it, it just stopped me, dead in my tracks. I replied back to the sender and said, can I share this with everyone in the community, all my viewers and subscribers? So, oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I cannot believe how many of you out there watch my videos, especially the ones with Tim, and you haven't subscribed, please, it doesn't cost a dime to subscribe. It's different than being a member. A member has its own privilege. Uh, you know, I won't get into that here, but please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell so that, you know, the next video that comes out, you won't miss it. Feel free to share this stuff too. It also helps to get the word out. But anyways, I needed to share this letter from Robert. He says, hello, Yankee. Your opinion counts. What would you do? For the moment, I decided to not trade my 25 Britannia coins, silver Britannia coins, I'm sure he meant, for a quarter ounce gold eagle. The trade in value would lose at least $5 per coin of what I spent acquiring them. Then there would be the cost of replacing them, which would be another roughly $700. Therefore, I might as well just wait accrue $570 and then purchase the coin straight out. Actually, I think uh, he sent this a couple weeks ago, so maybe he wouldn't have to accrue the total 570. But yes, 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 dude gets it. Yes, you should not trade your 25 silver Britannias for a quarter ounce gold eagle. I get this all the time. This question is probably the second most asked question that I ever get. Uh, the number one question will be another video coming up, but this one is huge. People ask me this all the time. Yankee, should I sell my silver to get gold? Sometimes it should I sell my gold to get silver, but usually it's sell silver to get gold, playing the whole GSR ratio with physical metals. I never do that. Okay, I never sell my silver to get gold. I never sell gold to get silver. Why? There are several reasons, but the biggest reason of all is what Robert said right there in his email. He would lose in the conversion. Now, I know that there are some out there that have said, no, Yankee, you're wrong. I can bring my silver into my local coin shop dealer and he will directly exchange it for gold. That's the exception, okay? That is the rare exception. The rule is that that exchange will involve fiat currency, and in that exchange, you will lose money, okay? There is a premium that you have to address, and I think it's usually unwise to do this. It stems, and if, you, if I sound passionate about this, I really am because I hate people making mistakes with their stacking. And, I, and if I can help them, I want to help them. This guy seems to get it. He doesn't, it was almost like he doesn't need my help. He just wanted to tell me that he's stacking the Yankee way and he's, and he's learned something uh, that I hope others watching this will learn. A lot of it stems from FOMO, the fear of missing out. They want the gold, they have the silver. Oh, how can I get the gold real fast? That's the other thing, it, it, patience, right? You heard him say it, I need to wait, accrue $570, that's a patient savings, right? And, and then purchase the coin. So it's a challenge to do it. You either feel like you've missed out on an opportunity, you're impatient with the type of metal you wanna get, and you think this is the shortcut. It's not, okay? Be satisfied with what you purchased. Hopefully you purchase it for the right reasons. Hopefully you had a strategy as to why you were buying your silver, okay? And, and you know that it is a long-term hedge against what's coming. It is inflation insurance. And in fact, in a in, uh, case of silver, it's barter material that might one day be used for goods and services. So don't, don't, don't rush to get something you don't have. Be patient. So that's the first thing he said. The second thing was equally as awesome. He said, my contention regarding selling silver for cash 
at the LCS is this. Silver is supposed to be money. The whole reason we trade our fiat currency in for silver is to retain the monetary value. What happens in a market crash and we are not able to sell our silver and gold? What then? And why should we sell our silver and gold for fiat currency anyway? The whole point of this is that silver and gold are money. To me, all of this selling it for cash thing simply defeats the purpose. Yeah, baby, that is so true. That is, <laughs> he's, he's becoming a prepper stacker, this Robert guy, I can see it, all right? He gets the point that selling this stuff for fiat currency is silly. It's a waste. Hold on to your silver and gold, okay? Exchange it for goods and services. That is what I am prepping with silver and gold for. It's not to get more cash. It is to preserve my wealth and barter for stuff that I may one day need. Now, I have another person uh, in our community that just recently emailed me and said, Yankee, I need to sell some of my gold. He's got a lot of it, actually, and I don't know all the details of why. He did mention something, I, I won't sp say specifically what for confidence, but he said he needed it. And he, and he needs liquidity. Actually, I told him that gold and silver are liquid. They are, that's their property. They are real money and they are so easy to convert to cash. But he needs it. And I understand that need. Sometimes life can throw you a massive curveball. And you do need to, unfortunately, sell some of it to get currency. That's life. But if, if you budget well and you have proper insurance, health insurance, life insurance, whatever, you lower the risk, not completely, but you lower the risk of needing to sell it for currency. Try not to do that. Try to hold on to real money and not sell it for cash. If you agree with what I said, if this resonates with you, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of Robert's email. Tell me what you think of exchanging silver for gold or selling your silver and gold. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope your day is a-okay.